Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Alan Rich. I'm the Managing Broker here at Maximum One. We are going to be learning all about VoicePad today. And so hopefully with uh, any luck, you guys have a, can see the picture of, of the VoicePad screen here in front of me. So um, we're going to kind of jump in today. And so if anybody has any kind of questions I need to throw out there, please put that in chat. Any of that kind of stuff, we'll, I'll be glad to cover those as well. <clears throat> But we have a, there, there's some really neat information uh, in, in VoicePad and, and it's, a, it's a really cool service that we have and it's built into uh, our real estate signs already. So a couple of things is that, you know, first off, VoicePad is here to, it, 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 in its core, at its essence, VoicePad is a call capture system. But that's uh, just the tip of the iceberg as to what it really can do kind of thing. So um, VoicePad can help get you actionable leads. These are people who were driving by your property and willing to call. And so that, these are good, solid leads kind of thing. So basically, all you have to do is put your sign in the yard. Because as soon as you put your sign in the yard, it kind of takes over. You know, it is set up to be automated. And, and unfortunately, because it's so automated, a lot of agents don't understand how to really work this system and how to take advantage of the opportunities that it helps to create. So that being said, like this is our real estate sign. Well, helps if you turn the right way. And at the top of all of our signs has our voice bed number. And it says, you know, you know, 24 seven information, call for information, and it has the number right there. Now your buyers, any buyers can call, call, can call that number and all they do is put in the street address of the home and they can get all the information on the property, on any single property at the same time kind of thing. So when it's on your listings, you know, um, you, know you put the sign in the yard and now it takes over. The sellers call, I mean the buyers call, and they get a recorded message, uh, which basically uh, it, it, the system automatically records a, a, a verbal greeting along with a description of your property. And then it captures their phone number. It sends them a text message along with a link to your site and a link to the property information. Uh, and, and basically it's a mobile um, freestanding mobile site for your property listing. And the system does it automatically. You don't have to set anything up kind of thing. So, you know, it does capture the call. As soon as that does, call them back. Uh, it, it's one of those amazing features that we have. And, 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 you know, especially like on weekends, things like that, not many people call back. They're calling to see how much the home is listed for, for sure. But call them back because there's some real opportunities on there. Uh, the system is bilingual. Uh, it's in English as well as in Spanish and it's automatic. So you don't have to set any setting on that. It, when the callers, when the people call, it asks them if they want it in English or Spanish kind of thing. So it, no big deal. You also don't have to record your voice. Now you can if you choose to, but you don't have to. The system does it automatically. Uh, and so you don't have to do it. Now, once we get in into VoicePad, there are a few features that, that you really want to kind of understand what's out there. And so, um, you know, on the VoicePad site, um, you know, first thing is you can, you can add, or well, you can put a property in any property. And so, yes, it's automatically going to pull your listings, which is a great feature. But in addition to that, well, if a builder gives you the ability to market one of their, one of their new construction homes, you can put that in a HUD home. You can put that in for sale by owner, you can put that in. And then once that's in there, you're able to mark it out, um, out of the platform. And we'll go into the platform here in just a few minutes and I'll explain it in a little bit more detail kind of thing. Once you log in, there's, there's a, a big, you know, there, there's a dashboard and, you know, it has a, first of all, it has a profile dashboard that everybody needs to go in and you need to set up your profile the first time. One of the cool things that you have is you have the ability for team routing options. And with team routing, you can make it so that your phone rings. Uh, you can make it so that your desktop ring, or so like if you have a, a you know a handheld phone, a cell phone. If there's multiple people that you want to answer that call, it goes. It can go to all those people at once, or it can ring one, then another, then another kind of stuff. You also have the ability to go in and set up your mobile site options. You can set up. Uh, texting keywords. And so like, you know, we all have the same number, 678-360-7299. But if you, if you text MAX, M-A-X to that, then you'll see our mobile 
site kind of thing. And so I, I can share out to, to text out Max and that's where you put those in. But you can also go in and you can change your email address and your phone number. So if you don't want so if you have like a Google phone number, that kind of thing that you want to use, or if you had a different email address where you wanted to direct these leads to, you could do that as well. In there, you also have a leads manager system. Uh, and that's where you can go in. You can see all your leads in one place that came into the voice pad system kind of thing. Uh, you know, uh, you can export them out to your CRM. You can work with them directly from there. You can also claim all the leads for yourself. It has a freestanding mobile site as well. Uh, and you know, you need to go out, check it out, see what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll open that up and I'll show you the mobile sites here in just a second. But you know, you, you edit that and set your profile up there as well. And then uh, let's see, uh, well, not lastly, but then there's also a full marketing toolkit. And the marketing toolkit is, is uh, you know, impressive. First of all, it has all your listings displayed and then it gives you the ability to share any of those listings out directly into social media. Uh, you can also share that directly onto your YouTube channel. Uh, you, it has a virtual tour that you can use and then you can link that virtual tour. They have a non-branded, so you can put that into the MLS and now you have a virtual tour uh, in the MLS as well, kind of stuff. Uh, it also creates pop property flyers uh, with texting codes on there. Uh, it has all the separate listing tools, media tracking, and then it even gives you social media statistics, how many people are going there. Uh, the last two things on there, and it has a whole section where you go in and you can track who your buyers are, and that's a really cool thing we'll shoot shoe show and then um, it lets you listen to all your voicemail messages right then and there so we're going to go ahead and log in and i'm going to kind of show you kind of the the overview of the system kind of thing now when you first joined you got emailed this right and you've all forgotten it which is what what happens most of the time so first thing you want to do is if you forgot your password click here and put in your email address so long as it's the email address that we have on file they're going to send you your login and password information so i'm going to do us really fast so we're going to put in that's our username it doesn't make any sense but that's what ours is and then we're going to hit login and so Boom. So um, this is everything that you see. I'm going to close this. We'll open that up again in just a second. So this is our, this is our main voice pad dashboard kind of thing. And now if you don't have any listings, when you log in this information down here, it's all going to be completely blank. So uh, down here that there won't be anything to see down there kind of thing. And so I'm just going to kind of walk you through the dashboard as well as into the different sections of voice pad. So you can see how it works and not be intimidated. First of all, you can't break anything in here. Uh, getting into this and, and playing with it is super easy to do if you'd like to do that. So first thing we're going to look at here is, so like, you know, it shows any of your active listings, expired listings, that kind of stuff. And so uh, like on this first one, you know, we have our, our address is 1150 Low Water. We can see it's active. If I wanted to, I could, I could play this and I could listen to the English and the Spanish, what's right there. I can come in here and I can schedule an open house. I can also schedule any kind of available dates that's coming up. Um, if I wanted to record my own voice, I could come in here and edit the voice. I can edit the price. I can produce a seller report right here, which shows any kind of activity on there and a detail report. And over here, I get a, a handy little property link and you know, that, that's something that we can then share out. I mean, if I, if, I, if I pull up the property link, it says, you know, here's our photo link right here. And then, you know, if I wanted to, I could even put in a drone link or a 3D link if I wanted to add those to it kind of thing. So, you know, all my properties are displayed right here. And so that, that's, that's the handy part right there. And the system is automated. So if you don't want to record your own voice, no big deal the system is automatically going to pull your listing out of the MLS. It's automatically going to take your photos directly out of the MLS. It's going to take your listing description and it's going to add voice. It's not going to take your listing description. It's going to, it's going to take the items that you select, you know, bedroom, bathroom and features. And then it puts all those together so that it's in there. All right, so while we're in here, you can always see that right up here in the top right hand corner, that's gonna be your voice pad number. That, that's one that we all use and all share kind of thing. And so let's let's kind of start playing through some of the some of the features here. So first thing is right here where it says voice pad answers. 
uh, that has training re resources, webinars. There's just a tool, only a ton of really cool tools and information. And there's a ton of training videos on there. So if you have any kind of questions, please go there, learn the system, you know, being able to jump in and play with it is really going to be a big benefit to you kind of thing. And so don't be afraid of it. You're not, it's not going to hurt at all. You can't, you can't break it. So go in and start, start playing around. So uh, next thing we want to see, and, and new tools here are the same tools here. So there's nothing here to see. We're just going to kind of jump in here. So the first thing we want to look at is new presentation. Now I can come in here and I can sell, try and sell a service or a product or real estate. So for us, we're always going to do real estate. So if I wanted to, I could come in here and try and sell or, 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 or market a HUD home, or if I had written permission, a new construction property. Either way, I'm going to end up at the same time uh, all the way back. It, it will enter property in, sorry, and, and so that it would just be in here in the same kind of way. You would go in and, you know, I, I'm not going to walk us through entering properties because the system automatically does the bulk of our properties. But if you want to do it, it walks you through it very easy. There is absolutely no problem in doing that at all kind of thing. So um, probably the very first thing you want to do the first time you come in is you want to hit on this tab, which says my profile. And so you need to go into my profile and you want to make sure that it's set up with the, all the information that you want it to have. And so, you know, this is where you put your picture in here. You also want to go in, you want to record your name uh, because it will use your name in there. Here's where you would set up your, your team routing options. If you wanted it to, you know, what are the phone numbers you want it to dial? Who do you want it to dial to? Is it done in, in you know, all the same kind of time, same kind of thing. This is where you set up all your mobile site options in here and we'll go and there's an, you know, just basically lets us pick and choose the same kind of things. Here's where we'll set up text keywords. So like, well, I'll, I'll show you. So mobile site options, not really a whole lot of big deal, but we go in, you put in your, what your social media is, all that kind of, any of that information that you want in there. So if you have uh, any of that that you want to put into it, you're, you're more than welcome to. Texting keywords, that's where you come in here. And so you can use any keyword that's not already used by somebody else in the company. And so like, like you know, right now we have two keywords. We have MAX and we have Max One Team. But, you know, uh, I see that Vilma is on with us. So you, you could, you know, you could, Vilma, you could log in, create a Vilma keyword and say, and say, hey, text Vilma to, you know, to this number and, and you would get a, a mobile site of your properties or any kind of properties you listed or, or, or the ability to search for properties right there, right then and there from where you are. Uh, you can also change your login information if you'd like to on here. And then here's where you set up your phone number, you know, what, you know, what, what your text carrier is, as well as you can change your email if you choose to do that. So um, once we, you know, once you set up your profile, you know, I do suggest you go in and so let, let's, let's talk about the mobile site for a quick moment. So, you know, when you, everyone has their own mobile site and if you want, and so when you first log in, uh, you know, if you hit this, you know, this little window here pops up. So like if you hit see it now, this will show you exactly what your mobile site looks like. And so it's, it, you know, it's got my name, you know, you can call, email, text me. It has my social media profiles on here. It lets them search for nearby properties, lets them do a map search, advanced search. In, in a lot of ways, it's similar to the Smarter Agent app in a lot of things. And then it shows any featured listings I have and all my listings, that kind of stuff. And so uh, that's what your mobile site automatically looks like um, for you. And so, uh, if, like, you want to see what it is? So hit text me a link, and then it will automatically, well, when it wakes up, I think my, my computer uh, decided to slow down. So we're going to try that again, kind of thing. So um, uh, let's see. So the, uh, the mobile site is, again, we're, we're going to try and get the whole thing woke up here. So uh, you can text yourself a, a link to, to there, as well as you can go in and edit your mobile profile as well. If you're looking for more information, you can download uh, a PDF of the overview. 
on there and it is really handy to have and to, to use. So uh, more information on there, super easy to, to use as well as to get to. So ne next thing we wanna go over is our lead manager. And so first we went over in the new presentation, we went over our profile. Now let's talk, let's just jump into our lead manager here. And so we're gonna hit that little button and we're gonna spin around. So this is our leads manager right here. And so your leads manager is gonna show every, all the information. And so up here, there is a really cool video and I do recommend that you watch the video. It's about 10 minutes. And it, and it really does kind of go into a lot of detail on, on how to work these leads and, and what they all mean kind of thing. Because down here, you know, when, when, once you get below the video, you'll see that I can come down here and I can either print or export uh, all these leads. I can put it automatically in the top producer. I can share site report. I can get my media source stats all from right here. It's gonna show, this is all the activity. So we've had 1,467 people inquire. We had 17 phone calls, two text messages, and 1,448 people have looked at our mobile website. And so down here, you can see everyone that has ever reached out into in any of our properties. And so Ming has been active today. And so you can see that she's called in text from the web as well. And she's done a keyword search. Now, you know, the, these these use means that they're, they are, um, unregistered users. That means no one is, no one has registered this buyer. Now, wh what that is, what that really means and what's very cool for you is that you can go in and you can register a buyer in here. And when you register a buyer and you share your, your, your voice pad number with them and your voice pad mobile app, it, they are now yours. The only agent active, the only agent they're ever going to see displayed on anything is just you. And so even if they call and, and, and inquire on a different property that's not yours, it's still gonna be yours. We actually have one of those on our dashboard right here. So you see this R, this just says that, that you know, it's registered who, you know, that this was, you know, this was an inquiry today that's registered to another agent. It doesn't give you any information. It just says, hey, somebody was in here looking, but they're registered to another agent kind of thing. Um, but you know, you should go in and, and claim your clients. You put your clients in and now they're yours until they buy or die. They're yours kind of thing. And so it helps you keep track of, of your clients and, and we'll go through that in a little bit more detail. But you go all the way through the list, you can see the, the, the red A. Uh, a red A means that that's an agent that was checking out one of our listings kind of thing. And so it even notices, so uh, you know, Carol Phillips with Cap Realty was looking at our listing on Lewisburg Drive kind of thing. And so I can see, you can see when that was and what was going on, that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, um, so if I wanted to look down here and so like this, uh, so we had Eddie Travis in here, he, he went in. And so when, when I go, if I click on Eddie's name, it, it shows me that the transfer was attempted and what the address of the property was. And it shows me all of his, his name, his, his phone number. If he puts an email address in, we'll have that. I can come in and register this, this buyer and I can also view any, if he had any other history. So I can see how many phone calls, texts, messages, that kind of stuff. And, and I can see the, the complete history on, on Eddie if, if there was one, but there, you know, we could see that he only did one, but I could come down here and do that on any of these. Here's one on, on Sydney White kind of thing and see what, exactly what happens and what they were. But now I've got their name, I got their phone number, I know what property they're looking for. Now is where I can go in and actually reach back out and reach out to the folks. Um, and, and you know, that's the thing, even if they don't, even if they don't transfer uh, and, and leave a message kind of thing, it, it's still like, like, you know, the difference is like, like a property inquiry means that, that they just inquired on the property but they didn't actually make a phone call. You know, uh, a voicemail means I left a voice message and a live transfer means that they tried to connect to you directly. So you can see exactly what's happened on any of your listings. And, and it gives you a great way to, to reach out, inquire, and it keeps up with all your leads. You know, it's, it's a little mini um, CRM in here for you kind of thing. All right, so that's your leads manager, and, and that and you know that that's a really cool way to be able to manage it. Uh, you know, in the past, it's been very hard for us to manage, especially you know properties that weren't ours necessarily to list, because with HUD homes and new construction, now you have a place where you can do that and keep up with that. 
So that's our leads manager. Let's jump into the marketing toolkit now. And so the marketing toolkit, there is a lot of new toys in this thing for us to play with. And so the first thing it's going to do is it's going to, you know, first it's going to show us a, a whole list of all of our properties that we have that we can market to here. And so, um, uh, first thing I, I was kind of want to, you know, kind of go over this whole dashboard thing. And so like, like here's our, our property at 1150 Little Water. I can, I can come in here. I can add more photos to it. I can edit the photos that are there. I can also come in here and post and automatically share this property directly on my Facebook. Now, um, you know, Ming and I, we're not, we're not out trying to compete with everyone. We are in the real estate business. You know, we're always going to be here, but we're not trying to generate leads doing things like that. So we're not sharing it out, but I do recommend that you share it out. I do recommend that you set up your video. I mean, set up your YouTube channel and you can automatically post your property videos to your YouTube channel with a click of a button. You can automatically share your listing to Craigslist with a click of the button. So as soon as you, you know, once, once you get in here, I can come in here, I can boom, go to Facebook, boom, go to, you know, upload it to YouTube. Now I can also share it out to Craigslist. Once that thing's shared on YouTube, I can then share it back out to social media again. So there's a lot of really cool options on being able to do that. In addition to that, it also creates, you know, this is where our virtual tour is. And so if I wanted to see what my virtual tour was, I, I'd come in here and I'd hit, you know, click for link and it's going to show me and it gives you two virtual tours. One is the unbranded tour for me to use for the MLS. And the other is the branded tour that, that, that's kind of branded to me kind of thing. And so if I wanted to see what, you know, uh, you, if you click on either one of these, it's going to open right up kind of thing. And this is what your virtual tour looks like. Uh, and so, you know, it will automatically start playing. She'll talk about the same kind of things uh, th that we hear. Uh, I, I didn't turn on audio, so you're probably not going to hear her talking right now. So, but you know, they can choose if they want it in English, if they want it in Spanish, uh, and then they get all that kind of information. So, you know, you have a built-in virtual tour automatically. Oh, yeah, and so you can, and that's a tour you can put in the MLS if you want to. You can also, you know, once you have that link, you can share it out on social media. You can text it to clients, email it, the whole nine yards. So uh, lastly, or not maybe not lastly, it also gives you a QR code for each one of these that you can share out. And then it also lets you lets you automatically prepare a property flyer. Now, for those of you that are not super techie, this is the easiest way on the planet to prepare a property flyer. Uh, you come in here, you hit the button, and so um, you know I'm I'm going to create you know list all of them, but I'm going to create a new flyer. And so it gives you four basic templates. So I can have this one which has a bigger photo along with a big description more photos in the description da, 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 or I can just go with all pictures kind of thing. And so we're going to go with, Oh, let, let's do, let's just, we're going to pick that one. So I select that layout and this is first thing. It just shows the layout for you kind of thing. Now that's not you cause it, 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 but you know, once you select the layout, uh, well, you hit the button, then the spinny wheel of death starts. So now it lets me come up and I can choose what my branding color is. I can do just listed, just sold, whatever. I can come in and I can, um, you kind of work all the way down the list here. So I can select my property photos. I can edit my property details if I want to. Uh, I, can, I can change you know, any of the remarks, that kind of stuff. I can change my information and what I want displayed on, the, on there. And I can, I can also do a reverse side. And once that's done, I just hit review and print flyer. And the little gnomes back there uh, pulls it up kind of thing. And so if I hit, con, you know, hit the button, it creates the flyer. And it will automatically set it up to download it for me. So, sorry, I know it's very exciting watching the little wheels spin on the desk. But that's where we're at right now. So... But just while stuff. this is creating really quick, Ellen, yep. um, as an agent of Maxima One, uh, you're probably wondering how will I get into system, what have you. Just so you know, when you do a listing on MLSs, this is automatically generated for you. You don't have to do a thing at all. And so um, that's just part of our member benefit with us. So 
Um, normally I get a voice pad notice with them, I want to say two or three hours after the listing gone live. And, um, and it has a virtual branding and all that good stuff. So um, it's available to you almost two or three hours after you list it. Yep. Thanks. All right. So while that was going on, uh, you know, we have now produced our very first flyer. Uh, and so on here, you know, I can print this sucker out right here if I wanted to, you know, it has all the information in here that I wanted, you know, I, I can text 1150 to this number and it will send them more photos. It sends them a link and they can check out all of our listings right here on, uh, on as well on there. So um, as far as, you know, a property flyer easy, that is pretty stinking hard to beat. I'll just be real honest with you kind of thing. So, um, so, you know, that is, um, you know, some of the really cool things. In addition to that, um, you know, you can come in here and, and, you know, you, you can, you can set up Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, you can go with other platforms and as well as set up your flyer options, how you want that to be in here. Uh, in addition to that, you have uh, under listing tools, you know, this, this is, um, all these are education bits and, and things that you can share. So they have, you know, some of these are, are, are like things to include in your listing presentation as well as just general information. Uh, and, and so you can share these marketing pieces out automatically and they're kind of helpful and handy kind of thing. Um, sorry, it's coming back up. Uh, you can also come in and this is a little bit more advanced if you do the, the, the media tracking and print ad tools kind of thing, but basically you come in and you assign it an, uh, an ID and then every time and everywhere that it uh, sees this property on any of your social media, it keeps up with it and then it, it, keep, and then it, it lets you know what those are and where those are. And then you also get to see any of your social media statistics, how often, how many posts have been done, how many phone calls, that kind of stuff on all your properties as well. So um, I, I really kind of like that whole part as well. Um, you know, the, uh, the, the social side of things is so important right now. And so that whole marketing toolkit is super helpful on being able to, to work with, um, sharing your listings out and, and generating more leads off, off those listings that you have. Uh, next thing that we have are my buyers. And so my buyers is where I'd come in. And so again, Ming and I are not really working it that way, but if I was to, you know, I would say go in and, and register all the buyers that you can, you can have up to a hundred buyers at a time. Uh, and so if I wanted to, I could come in and, and register a new buyer or if someone calls on one of my properties and I reach out to them, I can now register them automatically. But if I wanted to register a new buyer, I just hit the button, put in their name, email address, phone number, that kind of stuff. You can pull up a report of all your buyers that you're working with uh, and do the whole nine, nine yards there. We aren't personally working it that way, but that doesn't mean that it's not a viable option out there to utilize kind of thing. Um, one of the last things on here is the voicemail. And so if you put on a new voicemail, it will, it will show all the voicemail messages that have been listened or that have been recorded and I can play them. I can email them out. I can delete them, that kind of stuff, but I can also see everything that's gone on with that. So, uh, the voice pad tool is one of those things that, that we pay for as a brokerage. You know, this is, this is a, a, a service to our agents that unfortunately gets, gets passed on. Uh, there's opportunities here for us to work uh, to, to, with the mobile site, to be able to share it out to clients, to be able to text out uh, this information, to be able to, to really market much more. Even if you don't have listings, there's a lot of really useful tools and, and support to be able to help you grow your business through the VoicePad platform. And we're the ones who pay for it. You, you know, this is part of your 48 bucks a month kind of thing. And so, yes, you are paying for it because it's part of the 48, but let's be honest, it's a really reasonable rate kind of thing. And, and so we're always trying to add more tools and look and look at the things that, that we can uh, provide to agents that, that really offers a lot of value. Uh, so on one hand, I really, really love offering this to our agents. And 
one of the reasons why we want to start doing like things like Tech Thursday that we're doing and that kind of stuff is because unfortunately a lot of agents are not taking advantage of this. This is a really cool system. This is a very useful platform to help you grow your business. Uh, right now things are crazy with the real estate world, meaning that we have a ton more buyers and we have sellers, activities going on. We hit a new sales record for the brokerage last month. Uh, and so it's just been, business is doing really, really good. We're blessed. Don't miss out on the on the opportunity to use these tools. They're already part of, of what you're paying for as part of your, your, your monthly brokerage fees, that kind of thing. This is a very useful tool. And I, I, don't, I don't mean to stand on, on, my, on my soapbox too much, but uh, there are some really helpful ways to, to, to use this platform. Uh, Wordsworth in our airport office, soon to be our Fayetteville office, he's kind of our voice pad guru. Uh, and so if you have any kind of questions, please feel free to reach out to him. You can reach out to me. Uh, Ming will help you in any way, shape or form. But I can tell you that the biggest thing is once you get in, you see that it's not that tough. Uh, you just got to kind of log in and, and, and dip your little toe in. And, and once you get that rolling, you're going to be off to the races here. So um, that's kind of my, my wrap up on VoicePad for the day. Ming, did you have anything you wanted to add? No, just the fact that even though if you're not a listing agent, if you were registering your buyers in here, it kind of actually allow you to see what your buyer's doing, what they're, you know, and also if they're trying to call a number on VoicePad, that alerts go back to you. So you can say, hey, Miss Smith, I know you were looking at, you know, Little Water. Can, is there anything I can tell you about it? I know that's not my listing, but I can definitely show it to you. Um, so, you know, things like that, it's a free lead generation. Um, and if you register a buyer, guess what? Nobody else can take that buyer from you. So yeah. once you, that, that's a key. A lot, a lot of agents don't take the time and you saw how quickly it was to register a buyer, just a click a button. So, you know, if you would do that, you know, these buyers would be kind of not stuck, but you know, it's like anything else. Our business is about relationship. So if you nurture that relationship, there's trust. Not only that, they think you're super because you know exactly what they're looking at and what kind of property they're looking for. So um, it's a great tool. I believe most brokerage charge these about twelve ninety nine a month. And it's so 20, it's twenty four dollars a month normally per person. Is, if you were to go buy it buy it yourself, it's it's twenty five dollars a month roughly, and so this is built into our fees. Right. So you know we're paying a good money for it. I want you guys to utilize it. So so please do. Um, do y'all have any questions? I think you can unmute yourself, right? Uh, you should be able to, to, yeah, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to throw it out there. You can also put something in the chat if you'd like to. So there's no kind of problem there. And if you click on the, uh, for here, for training resources, voice is always constantly updating their system, like any other tools that we have. So um, just make sure you kind of tap into it. We even was once a month to see what's new. Yep. Well, uh, I don't see any questions right now, but if you do have any, please reach out to us. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up today. And, and I, I strongly encourage you to jump out there and get into it because it, it doesn't hurt. So thank you all very much. Uh, if we can be of any, any kind of service, please let us know and y'all have a great day. Have a great day. Take care.